Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, let's go over the specific heat equation. I like to use this triangle because um, I just think it makes it a little bit easier to memorize and to use. So let's go through each of these and see what we have. Okay, first is Q. Q is the heat or the energy change. Think of Q like this. I have this um, piece of aluminum, okay? I need to know how much heat do I need to apply to this in order to raise it a certain temperature. And this object has a mass, and it also has a specific heat, and many times you can look this up in a chart, and then I know the change in temperature, okay? And each object is a little bit different. So, let's go through this a little bit more. So, Q is going to equal mass times the specific heat times the change and in temperature. And Q is always measured in joules. Okay, so Q is joules. And let's look at the others. With mass, you'll find that in either maybe grams or kilogram or any other uh, unit that measures mass. Okay, specific heat. You'll see that in a couple of different ways. But uh, here basically are the units of measure for specific heats. You're going to have joules over. Then you're going to have a measure of grams. Sometimes you'll see it in kilograms times Kelvin. Or you may see it in joules over. Uh, make sure I'm still on here. Over grams in Celsius. But basically, your unit of measure is going to be joules over a mass and then a temperature. Okay? And then change in temperature, you're going to have that in um, either Celsius or Kelvin. So let me go through a couple ways that you can use this triangle. Okay, first, I can f just find Q. And remember, Q is, I want to know how much heat do I need to apply to this object in order to raise it a certain temperature, okay? Or lower the temperature. Or I guess that would be take energy away. So Q, let's use our triangle, is just M times C times change in temperature. Remember, M is mass, C is gonna be your specific heat, and this is gonna be a change in temperature. How about I wanna know mass, this portion, okay? So I just go mass, I pull it out, equals Q divided by what's left? C times change in temperature. Okay, that's pretty easy. How about I would like to know specific heat? Same thing, you just go, you pull out this time specific heat. Specific heat equals Q over, okay, what do I have left? I have M times change in temperature. And last but not least, how about change in temperature? I want to know, what is the change in temperature if I apply so much heat to something with mass? It's the same thing. You take Q and just place it over. Okay, what's left? Well, I've pulled out um, change in temperature, so I just have mass times the specific heat. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.